What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great night so far. So let's go ahead and get into this drama. Now this video is going to be short and sweet, but I had to come on here and point out how bad Tasha K lies to her audience. Now on yesterday, the story broke that Cardi B actually filed for divorce from Offset. And so everybody was trying to figure out what was going down and things of this nature so you know that tasha k's bread and butter comes from making all these false stories up about cardi b now tasha may come with some facts about 10 percent of the time but other than that tasha is programmed to lie just like she did this morning i mean tasha woke up ready to lie about this cardi b situation and if she was up all night Basically, she was up concocting a story to try to fit the narrative to push on her people and sell it. So this is what Tasha posted early this morning. She woke up lying. Exclusive winos, hashtag offset allegedly has a baby on the way with another woman. This is what prompted the divorce. We will discuss this tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern on YouTube. You heard it first. So much wine to break down tomorrow night. And then she posted this today at 1.22 p.m. She said, Cardi, I see you calling all your paid blogs to the yard. You know damn well I don't back down. You put out the info. My source gave me a call. And now I'm going live tonight. The info. Whatever. Um, illiterate. But anyway, sad part is this ain't the first time in y'all publicity marriage. See y'all tonight. And then here comes lovely T. All right, so Lovely T posted this on Instagram and she says, since everyone wants to feast on lies and BS, join me at 4 p.m. to see what Cardi B told me when I spoke to her last night and today. <laughs> now, after Lovely T said that, guess who canceled going live tonight? Huh? Guess who came up with an excuse to spread lies tonight? This is what Tasha K said. PSA winos, I know y'all are going to be mad. This is out of my hands. So I was unaware that today's time slot was blocked. I can't go live. Our advertisers bought the slot until 4 p.m. Thursday night. I can't post tonight. I tried to rearrange it, but I can't. See you Friday. <laughs> now, the real reason I bring this up is because Lovely T clearly blocked Tasha K's opportunity to once again come to her platform to spew lies and nothing but negative things about Cardi B because Lovely T said it had to have been before four where she said, I'll see you at four. I'm going live with the receipts. I talked to Cardi, right? And Tasha K posted at 3.45 p.m. this excuse saying that she could not go live tonight. Why? Because Lovely T has the real receipts and she can't come up here and spew that fake nonsense that she was planning on spewing. Now, the real reason why Tasha K said that she'll see her fans on Friday is because, yo, she needs some time to regroup. It takes a lot to come up with those lies. She has to drink some extra wine to actually think about how she's going to revamp this story and make it believable to her audience. Now, to all of her fans, I want to say this. Listen, I understand that you come to YouTube to get away and you're looking for just entertainment, whether it's factual, whether it's lies. In Tasha K's case, it's a lot of lies. But at the same time, you have to understand that you can't keep following someone with no moral compass that's going to come to her platform and actually lie about someone else's life. What type of human being is that? You know, just because you're making a coin off of that person, I could never come onto my platform and make up lies about someone and cash in on them. All right. I'm going to bring the facts. That's how it's supposed to be. But anyway, y'all are grown. Do what you want to do. I'm going to let this go and let y'all have that in the comments. All right. I'll check for you all later. Have a great night. Peace.